A few days ago, Emil suggested that we should update the cover image of the Patreon page that many of you are familiar with. The new image is a beautiful photo of the Manhattan skyline with its skyscrapers at dusk, and I really like it. I insisted that he should provide me with a URL of the source of the image so that we would look uh, at the license and we could also give uh, credit. This is what I would like to talk to you about today, licensing and crediting and why this matters so much uh, in today's world. In another episode of The Context, uh, when I spoke about the Open Source Medical Supplies Initiative, I touched upon some components of intellectual property, but I especially spoke about uh, open source code and, and reuse. Today, I want to talk about another component of the ensemble that is called intellectual property. Just to summarize, this is uh, trademarks, patents, copyrights, and uh, trade secrets. Today, what I want to talk about copyrights that are quite famously broken. Um, there is a wonderful uh, YouTube video that uh, uh, we will link to that uh, talks about how broken it is on YouTube, for example. And I had a recent uh, experience uh, with this as well. Uh, the uh, song uh, that we uh, picked for the intro and the outro music of uh, Searching for the Question Live and the Network Society Pitching Live, two of the other shows that I am also producing, were listed in their description that they were free to use, and apparently they were uh, uploaded by the original producer. And we followed uh, the requirements of crediting uh, them. However, apparently, since then, they uh, licensed uh, these songs uh, to another uh, organization. And that organization uh, gave the fingerprints of the song to YouTube in order to flag those who are using it as if they were infringing on the copyright of uh, the, the original composer. And, and uh, I am, you know, not contesting that they are right or wrong, and the consequences, at least for my channel, are not uh, very negative because they um, simply accrue uh, the advertising revenue on those videos that have the song rather than that revenue coming to me, except that my videos are not monetized through advertising. So they get nothing anyway, just as I have uh, gotten nothing. Um, but the point is that the, the system uh, is, is broken. The, there are a lot of uh, reasons why, from a legal point of view, copyrights uh, are, are uh, really out of check, uh, they last uh, too long uh, after the death of the original copyright uh, um, creator, and many other reasons. But they are also broken because they are out of sync with today's age. We cannot uh, let such an important component of uh, the digital world to be so detached from what can be efficiently handled by our computers themselves. About 15 years ago, I would have to check the precise date, and apologies if I am a bit mistaken, uh, Creative Commons uh, was born. Uh, founded by Larry Lessig, Creative Commons uh, aimed to establish pre-negotiated legal agreements between copyright holders and content users to make sure that uh, there wouldn't be a need for individual negotiation that is completely unfeasible for the use of uh, a piece of content in various manners. 
unless you are uh, a deep pocketed uh, Hollywood studio, you are not going to be able to clear the rights uh, to the use of every piece of image, of every footage, of every copyrighted thing that appears in the videos, uh, as well as for the audio and for all those other rights that uh, encumber the content that uh, you are creating. However, if uh, there are pre-agreed rights attached to those pieces of content, then it is very feasible to decide that, yes, indeed, you can take it and use it, you can modify it, and uh, you can uh, make money uh, through it, as long as in the credits you recognize the original creator or the copyright holder. And the various types of licenses uh, that Creative Commons um, designed and then updated and also made available under local legislations in many, many different jurisdictions provide a wonderful means for liberating content and making content thrive in the world in many, many different ways. For example, uh, my book, um, Something New, uh, AIs and Us, uh, published uh, in uh, three languages, uh, is available under the Creative Commons Attribution License, which means that you can go to Amazon and buy the book or you can get it for free. And the choice is totally yours because, as Cory Doctorov uh, uses to say, uh, I also agree that for an author, uh, obscurity is a much bigger uh, threat than piracy. I am not going to suffocate the content that I created uh, under antiquated uh, copyright uh, regimes in the fear of uh, somebody uh, being excited about my ideas without having paid uh, uh, their due uh, to me or to my publisher. And I have to recognize the, uh, um, the, 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 the modern thinking and the flexible understanding on the side of my publisher who agreed to these terms. Um, now, the availability of these legal agreements is just the first step. Part of the genius of Creative Commons is that the agreements are also available in machine-readable form. They are available as code so that there can be systems for incorporating the code so that the rights associated with a piece of content can travel with the content, as it is, for example, uh, on a, on a web page. And uh, the web page can uh, incorporate a, a, a little icon uh, that uh, links to the Creative Commons uh, website so that people reading that uh, uh, web page know that they can um, copy the entire page, for example. Um, and search engines such as Google can uh, index content based on the kind of license. And this has actually been done. You can go to Google and search for images that are available under uh, a license that allows their reuse uh, with modification um, uh, under uh, commercial terms. And these are the various layers. And, and, and that is great. Um, often when you go and, and you do these searches, you find, for example, images by Steve Jurvetson. Well, at least I do, because I search for various kinds of technological things. And Steve, for the past 10 years, uh, has been taking photos. And, you know, they are quite nice photos and publishing them on Flickr under the uh, Creative Commons license, which Google is able to read. So Google makes available Steve's photos under the same uh, license as well. Uh, this is wonderful. Uh, Steve himself is, is, a, is a venture capital investor 
an early investor in Tesla, in SpaceX, and many other wonderful companies. He doesn't live from his photos, admittedly, but um, at least in my world, he is also famous for his photos. And I don't know if who would he would accept, but uh, uh, you know, I would hire him for taking photos because he's taking cool ones with 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 nice uh, uh, angles and shooting and a, and a good thinking behind it, and then publishes them with uh, with exciting descriptions and and so on. Now, the searches of uh, photos give you an image, and here is where I want us to further embrace, and, and it, it, this is really urgent, uh, the, the thinking behind Creative Commons, because it is not enough for, for example, uh, Wikipedia to have their images licensed under a very liberal uh, Creative Commons um, uh, license, many uh, or most of them under actually CC0, which uh, uh, is equivalent in most uh, jurisdictions to uh, public domain. Uh, basically, you can do everything and anything you, will, you want with the image, and you don't even have to give attribution to the original creator or, or copyright holder. However, the problem is that when you download the image, just as when you download a piece of uh, music uh, as an MP3 file, or uh, you reuse uh, some video, the um, history of the rights attached to that uh, piece uh, of content too often get lost. And you are not able to both track back and understand the origin, the license of that content, but also you are not able to prove uh, that you are legally allowed to do what, uh, what you want to do. And, and this is uh, very dangerous uh, because uh, copyright infringement can be uh, not only meaning that your YouTube channel gets uh, shut down, uh, copyright infringement can mean that you are sued, like my friend uh, Michael Robertson, by a hundred different companies for uh, their, their music uh, being quotation marks stolen, or that uh, your house uh, is uh, swatted by teams at 3 a.m. Uh, in the morning, uh, like as it happened to Kim.com in his home in, uh, in New Zealand for copyright infringement. Um, or at least uh, you are fined uh, for thousands of, of dollars or tens of thousands of, of dollars um, for copyright infringement. But it is also a huge muzzle on creativity, especially if we are talking about uh, creators who released their work under a liberal copyright arrangement to start with. If I want to protect my work in a manner that nobody else should uh, touch it and only I can decide when anyone can see it, that's one point and, and then um, it is up to me to uh, uh, enact uh, that protection as uh, deeply as I can. But if, on the other hand, I want my content to freely travel, I don't want that freedom to be hampered by the inability of the platforms to attach these freedoms to my content in a reliable manner. So the metadata, the description of these rights, should be in the files, JPEGs, MP3s, um, MP4s uh, for videos and every other uh, possible content, PDFs and so on. And in some cases are there, but also these rights, this metadata should be checked against the blockchain of content proofs that uh, should secure and confirm that uh, a given piece of uh, content is indeed um, 
able to enjoy the rights and freedoms that the metadata incorporated in its file is representing. And the blockchain, as I hope you all are completely aware, is uh, a public immutable repository of information where anybody independently can verify that uh, what is recorded is uh, indeed uh, corresponding to the common understanding of truth. And uh, the fact that this is, this is not happening is what is causing a lot of headaches um, for, for YouTube uh, and YouTube creators and uh, content owners and content uh, um, uh, remixers. And it is totally re impoverishing our culture. Uh, it is hampering innovation and uh, it is uh, making our economy, uh, our digital economy, less uh, efficient and less capable of supporting us. And these days, the digital economy is what should uh, thrive in anything that slows it down is a mortal danger to civilization and to the individual uh, ability to, to, to make a living. So it is even more urgent for these uh, uh, things to come together. There are a lot of um, projects on blockchain that are trying to, to do this. As far as I know, none of them have gotten traction yet. If there are projects that you would like to point out to me, I would love to learn about them. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, you are welcome to visit my Patreon page where the new uh, image is uh, proudly displayed. Uh, it is not licensed under Creative Commons. It is licensed under the Pixabay license. Pixabay is the site where we downloaded it from. And it is basically saying you can do it with it whatever you want uh, as long as you don't sell the image itself and uh, uh, you don't do anything unlawful uh, with the image, like disparaging uh, a person appearing on the image or, or, or things like that. So it is a very uh, permissive license. And yes, Creative Commons is one approach. There are many others, um, many, many different kinds of licenses, uh, just as for software, similarly for uh, content, whether images or sounds uh, or, or videos but we have to hurry up. Uh, we have to make sure that machines understand the licenses, that uh, machines can uh, transfer and, and manipulate those licenses appropriately without forgetting about them. And we have to uh, have uh, verification mechanisms uh, so that uh, like in the blockchain, we can independently check what, what is going on. I believe that this is urgent, especially today. If you go to the Patreon uh, page, you will notice that I introduced uh, new tiers uh, with new benefits to uh, patrons and supporters. The uh, four tiers uh, are today called Fan, Supporter, Sponsor, and Benefactor. Uh, I uh, invite you to check it out and uh, become a, 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 an official patron in uh, one of them if you aren't already. Thank you and see you next time.